All right, so let me show you what I've done to this truck. Uh, there's a step driver. I usually keep their shoes off so that they uh, don't show so much. But yeah, I got a full metal drive line and a 370 motor with a two-speed transmission and full metal gears with bit with bearings and uh, bearings on the differential input shaft for the pinions. And I also raised this uh, motor or the transmission about a quarter inch higher just uh, by hot glue and a couple screws just to raise it up a little more for more ground clearance. I'll probably make a video of that so you guys can get more ground clearance out of this uh, two speed. I added some metal steering links to this truck too and this is kind of how I like to set them up. I like to put that steering link on the top instead of the bottom of that mount there because it gives you better clearance and I also put that top link on this passenger side because of the, the way the geometry works when the suspension comes down on this side it's way too steep and it's less as steep on this side so it doesn't bump as much when it comes down there's not as much bump steer and if the angle was steeper it would bump it more so this kind of cures that bump steer quite a bit if you were to to add the link on the other side over here like that it would it would help it, these metal links would help but it would still bump it some a little bit more than this setup so if you want maximum uh, less bump steer, this is the side to do it for. Yeah, so it's a lot smoother. All right, let's check out this Harley Quinn action figure. I already got her all set up. Didn't really like the clothes that she was wearing because it's not really for the trail, but it was a good base to start with. And it, uh, she's pretty articulate. She's got two heads. It came with the Batman head there. And it costed me 19 bucks on eBay. So this is some of the information you want to look for if you want if you're interested in this action figure. So here's some more information for you. But yeah, like 19 bucks and I that was free shipping. So that wasn't too bad. And uh, adding the clothes and stuff like that, and she ran about 20, 30 bucks. It's a little spendy, but it's a lot cheaper than other models. If you guys were wondering how I was able to keep that passenger tire from coming off of the ground so much like they normally do on an incline, it's because I adjusted the rear suspension on these shock absorbers to be stiffer simply by adjusting that shock 
adjustment all the way down. And uh, also I want to mention this truck has 3S LiPo ESC, a 320 amp ESC.